Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I am very excited to try a full week experiment of using aloe vera. This aloe vera plant is supposed to be like the heal all, fix all, especially for your skin. It works for your hair. It has a bunch of natural, I mean it doesn't get more natural than just taking the actual plant. So I'm going to be trying this on my face for a full week to get rid of all of my acne scars and to see what it really does for my skin. So I'm gonna be doing a mask, hoping to do morning and night every day for seven days, and then I'm gonna show you my ending results. So I got this huge aloe vera leaf from Whole Foods. It was $1.99, and I'm going to be taking the juices straight out of the plant. But first, let me give you a close up of my day one skin. So I have some scars right here. Luckily, like my actual active acne has gone down. I've got a couple blemishes right here. This is what we're working with. Some on my neck. You know, just everywhere. So take a good look, because hopefully all this will be gone in seven days. So now let's go ahead and head to the kitchen where I'm gonna cut this up and show you exactly how I apply it to my skin. So grab your knife if you're old enough to safely do so. We're gonna cut off this white part right here and remove these sharp spikes. So I'm gonna cut off the little dead looking root part so we don't need any of that. And then we're gonna get the actual aloe vera straight from the plant. This is how it looks inside, just full of nutrients. So now I'm gonna cut off a little chunk right here. As you'll see from the video, my chunks get smaller and smaller because I realized how much comes out of just one little piece, but this was good for my first time. So you are gonna cut off the spiky little parts on the side, exposing the gel from all angles, and it looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? Then you're gonna grab a knife again and cut it right down the middle, creating two halves ready to be applied directly to your face. All right, so I have my two pieces. There's a couple different ways to do this. You could scrape out the gel, but I'm just going to use the pieces straight from the plant. Starting off on a clean face, just going to rub it into my skin. Woo! Hmm, nice and cool. Nice little cooling sensation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's, this is fun. If you're a 90s kid, it's like playing with GAC all over again, but benefiting your skin. I'm gonna put this literally everywhere. It smells, I don't know, like a plant. <laughs> now I'm gonna scrape into the jelly and push that into my skin. You really do get a lot just from one piece. I didn't even really need to use both sides of this. Ugh. People make this look so easy on YouTube. So now I've let this mask sit on my face for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, it kind of sits as like a very shiny film. And I'm going to rinse it off with a wet washcloth. And there you go, day one. To make sure that your aloe vera stays fresh, it is really important to wrap it up in saran wrap and also keep it in the fridge. This could last you at least a full week. It is now day two and I'm gonna try something different. This time I'm actually going to scrape the aloe vera out of the plant. So I'll cut it the same exact way, but I use the spoon to just scrape out all of the and aloe vera. And place it in a cup. And then I just use my spoon to mix it up and get rid of the large chunks. Now that I have just the aloe vera, I'm going to press it into my skin, really letting it moisturize and soak into my pores. If you have seen these large aloe vera leaves in stores, please leave a comment and say where you live and where you're able to find the plants so you could help someone else watching. And that completes day two. Good morning, it's now day three, grabbing my aloe vera out of the fridge and we're gonna do it all over again. I did learn that I did not have to use as much aloe, so I cut much smaller pieces by day three. Here's how my skin is looking. Quick little update, after three days of aloe vera, I used it every morning and at night, and I even did some nights where I let it soak in overnight, but didn't really notice a huge difference when I did and when I did not. But now that it's nice and cold from the fridge, I'm going to smooth this 
all over my pores and skin once again. Today is day four. Things were getting better until this guy showed up in the sky. So small little blemishes, but let's at least see if it'll get rid of all the scars. Not to be discouraged, it's only day four, but I do not think that my little breakout happened because of the aloe vera. I think it just happened because I have acne prone skin. So I'm not expecting it to just like cure my acne, but let's see what this does. So then on day four, I started to experiment with a hot towel and kind of give myself like a little steam room facial by letting the hot towel just sit on my face before wiping it off. This is going to open the pores and really just let everything soak in. Now it's day five, and guess what? We're gonna do the same thing all over again. Every morning, oh Lord, look at my hair. <laughs> Obviously, I just do this first thing in the morning before I do anything to my hair, so excuse all the crazy hair. But just keep masking, just keep masking. What do we do? We mask, mask. Oh, oh. Okay, you guys know the song. And it's now day six. Come on, skin. I'm rooting for you. So I got another little piece using my nail to get more of that gel to have it come out because a little goes a long way. I just really want this to work. Now I am using a hot towel once again. This was my new like favorite thing to do. Think of it just like as we deep condition to open up the pores in our hair. It does the same thing for our skin. And now day seven, this is how much aloe vera I had left for the last day. Getting down to the end. But I did notice that when I cut it, it had a little bit of a darker, almost pink color to it. So I wasn't sure if I should use it anymore. I mean, Grant, I probably could make it last one more day, but I had a whole other aloe vera leaf to use. So I thought I might as well get the nice, clear, good stuff. But I will say that when cut correctly, one aloe vera leaf can last you a full week, even when you use it every morning and night. So on day seven, this is how my skin is looking on the last day of my aloe vera mask challenge. I do think that everything looks a little bit lighter. Obviously, skin is not perfect, still have some blemishes, but we'll see how much this can change overnight. All right, so here we are at the end of seven days of aloe vera masks. My last day was yesterday, so here is the final look on my skin. So as you can see, Skin's still not perfect, still have some scarring. This guy really just messed up everything. But I did actually like it. Although I did not get the outstanding results I was hoping for, I can't just sit here and title this video, aloe vera is canceled just because it didn't work for me. Because I got way too many testimonies from you guys that wrote me on Instagram or Snapchat saying that you use aloe vera all the time and it does amazing things for your skin. And you have to try things for yourself to see how it works. And that's what I did. So I do think that my skin felt very moisturized. I think that it did start to fade my scars. Now, a lot of the other YouTube videos that I watched about aloe vera, a lot of those girls either put witch hazel on their skin after maybe apple cider vinegar. They had different types of moisturizers. So all the different things that we put on our face play a factor. So I was trying not to really use too many other products during this aloe vera challenge to see how well the aloe vera would work on its own. But this coming week, I'm gonna take this challenge to the next level. I'm gonna to continue to use the aloe vera, but I think what I wanna do is go back to my Macari toner, and I think I wanna start using the Genador Even Tone Retinol Complex Serum. So I'm gonna now mix the natural of natural aloe vera with some different skincare products that I own. I'm gonna see how everybody works together. But overall, I'm still very glad that I tried this challenge. As you can see, I tried aloe vera with rubbing it on my skin. I tried taking it out. I haven't done the whole like mix it up in a blender and add essential oils yet. But like I said, I wanted to try the aloe vera just on its own before I started making different concoctions. So I might experiment. Let me know what you guys want me to try with the aloe vera next. I probably will do an aloe vera hair mask. Let me know in the comments. Let's make it happen.
If you enjoyed this weekly experiment and want me to try other DIY things, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.